Good morning, everybody. So today we are at NCL's private island, Great Stirrup K, and it has been over five years, over half a decade since I worked for Norwegian that I have been to this private island. Something very interesting about Great Stirrup K is that, well, it's right next to Royal Caribbean's private island, Perfect Day at Coco K. I believe it's uh, Harmony of the Seas over in Port today. But either way, we're gonna do some exploring, have a great time. I have priority disembarkation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast and then from there we're gonna get off the ship. As we're making our way off, I think people are either asleep or they're also waiting to get off to go enjoy the island. Pretty empty down there this morning. And up there, by the way, is for the sweets guests, the haven. Us commoners couldn't even dream of getting up there. <laughs> How's it going, guys? So Great Stirrup K is a tendering stop or tender port, meaning they don't have the ship park over next to the island where you could just walk off. You have to get on a small boat to get taken over to the island. Now, NC has been gracious enough to give me priority tendering. They gave me a letter, sent it over to my room, so I'm definitely gonna take advantage for that. Thank you, NCO, for doing that. And uh, well, we're gonna explore the island. We are here from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. And right now, I have to go down to deck six to meet at the Q Smokehouse. And my chariot awaits. Here we are. So I'm right in here with the group. Abby here has been nice enough to Escort me down to the Tinder boat. So everyone, I do have to introduce you to Abby and Ricardo. They have been helping me out here. They've been absolutely amazing. And oh, it, it feels so happy to be back. Now, when I first ran into them, I thought I was in trouble. Because like, I told you, I haven't been on this style with NCL ship in, in a long time. But uh, no, no, make sure you guys say hi to them in the comment section. Time to get off of the ship. Here we go. So these Tinder boats are actually pretty big. They're definitely expediting this process. There's one over here, and then we have all of this. Here, so when people want to get off, they're definitely quick about it. I gotta say, this is a very touching and personal moment for me. I feel like things have gone full circle. I went from working for NCL here to having priority boarding. When you're a crew member, you can't just get off willy-nilly whenever you want. The guests always come first, understandable, but we had to wait until all the guests that wanted to get off actually got off of the ship before we got on the tender boat. This is so cool. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys a little nugget of information. I got caught up in the glam of being priority. If you are a normal person, a common or a regular cruiser, in order to get a ticket to get on the Tinder boat, you get your Tinder ticket over at guest services either the day prior or the day of. Bye-bye. See you guys later. <laughs> and off we go. See you later, NCL Joy. We made it. And... We are officially in Great Stirrup K. I'm feeling so much nostalgia being here. <laughs> here we are. Everyone, make sure you say hi to Zoe. <laughs> Quickly show you guys the map here. We got food, private cabanas, lagoon, shore excursions, information, and snorkel center. I'm definitely doing some snorkeling today. However, we're gonna do some general exploring first. So as you walk in, over there is where you meet up for the kayaks if you wanna do that excursion. The shore excursions desk is right over here. And over in this vicinity, we have the check-in for the villa and the spa. The villas are sold out, unfortunately, today for anybody that's curious. I heard they sell out very, very quickly here. We have the entertainment zone and, of course, the beautiful beach. So, of course, as you look around and see before you, there is a food restaurant area over there. You have the zip line. I think there's also a lighthouse thing right over here. There is the beautiful beach water. Is crystal clear blue you can see all the way down to the bottom you can do snorkeling over there you can paddle board you can even grab a little floaty and just hang out or of course you can also just lay out and tan if you want to looks like we have a party going on over here As you can see, there is plenty of room to hang out, lay down, have a good time, play some volleyball. That was a nice quick trip. I think I'm just gonna go inside, drop my bag off, and go get some food. Oh, uh, Norwegian, no you didn't. They know how much I love the robes. And the slippers too? I am starving, so we're gonna start making our way over to the buffet. Here we are, Garden Cafe. Let's hope they have Oreo cheesecake. I told you guys I was hungry, so I got macaroni and cheese with buffalo wings inside, a hamburger, corn on the cob, pasta, and french fries. 
Mm. So I'm showered, I'm all shiny and new. The next order of business is to go see one of the production shows here called Elements. Unfortunately for this cruise, because it's only a four day short cruise, they don't have the popular show going on, Footloose. Maybe you guys have heard of it. However, I also want to let you guys know that yes, even though this is a short cruise, I'm taking things kind of slow here. By the way, some random, but maybe helpful information. You see these fish here on the ground? You see how they're swimming upwards? This is telling you the direction that you're going on board the ship. Since the fish is swimming upward, it means we're going to the front of the ship or forward part of the ship. And then obviously, back the other way would be the back of the ship, aka the aft. Head down to deck seven. Here we are, deck seven. And there's the theater. It is nine o'clock. The show starts at 9.30, so I got here nice and early like a responsible adult. Here we are the beautiful joy theater by the way just fyi a little nugget of information if you do want to see these production theater shows here on board the norwegian joy you do have to book a reservation and they do have a separate line for people that didn't book a reservation and they will let them in about five to ten minutes prior to the show starting above uh, which makes it unsafe to continue uh, with the performance uh, unfortunately safety of the performance of course has to be the main priority and at the moment it's not working it's faulty uh, so we can't guarantee their safety so unfortunately we're going to have to cancel the rest of the performance however uh, please come and see the box office team we're going to work on it through the night and for the rest of this evening hopefully get it working for tomorrow there are two more performances tomorrow that we will be able to get you in uh, so you can come and see the show again tomorrow in its entirety apologies for the inconvenience we hate cancelling any shows so the show that I was watching, Elements, unfortunately had to be cut short due to a technical issue, a dangerous technical issue at that. There is something called a anchor point in which it's brought down for the silk and aerial artists to go up. However, it came down at a very weird time where there were crew, uh, entertainers, the dancers running onto the stage. And don't quote me on this, I believe one of them may have gotten hit. And the thing about those anchor points is that they are very heavy. If they come down at the wrong point in time, they could easily knock somebody out. So it's very important for the safety of the performers that, well, they look at everything. All that stuff, because it is technology, of course, and there's stuff that operates on timing synced up with the music and point of the show, it can be very dangerous for them to just stop the show for five minutes, say it's okay, and keep it going. So they ended up canceling the show. They're gonna maybe reschedule it another time during this short cruise. And well, we have to keep this thing a moving. So we're gonna go check out the 80s party over at Spice H2O. I would also like to add while we're heading up that from what I did see, absolutely amazing show. The thing about NCL, and this is coming from somebody that's also worked for them as well, they are in a league of their own as far as the theater shows that they put in, the Broadway shows that they have on board. I always say Royal Caribbean, I think, has technically like the best shows, but they are the best in their own way as far as the shows that they license out. A lot of the Broadway shows, Kinky Boots and Footloose and all that. But still, I had a great time. I'm definitely going to go back and check it out. Here we are, Spice H2O. That was fun, but I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. And know as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.